everyone so today now we're going to learn about earth dams we've already seen gravity dams and arch dams and the new type of dam is earth dam and if ever you are using some earthen material to construct a dam maybe combination of a clay cell sand and everything and you're constructing a dam with earthen materials or whatever you're having are earthen materials such a kind of dam is called as earthen dam and you have water up to here and as you know this is not made up of concrete so this is pervious so water will be seeping through this material so what happens is water will be coming through seeping through like this and going down and here you will be having water like this so this is your upstream and this is your downstream and here this is not a rigid material a rigid material means very strong and impervious this is a non-rigid type of dam so this earthen dam is most probably a non-rigid non there are different types of earth and dams to be precise and one for, for such classification is rolled fill dam and hydraulic fill dam hydraulic fill dam so we'll be explaining each one by one so first one rolled Dam. So what happens is if I need to construct a dam here, so what happens is we'll be taking some materials, we'll be taking the earthen materials, we'll be excavating it and we'll be transporting it and we'll be compacting it. We'll be taking this material towards here, we'll be putting dumping it there and we'll be mechanically, we'll be compacting it mechanically. So there's mechanical compaction in here. Mechanical compaction. It may be done in layers, maybe just one layer. After compacting this layer, you will be putting other extra material, again you will be mechanically comp compacting it. After spreading some water, then again you will be adding the next layer and again compacting. So you make a dam like this by mechanical compaction. So you will be transporting the earth material to the location, compacting it. Again, subsequently we will be adding more and more material to make this dam. And this type of earth and dam, where mechanical compaction is used, it's called as a roll to fill dam. The same way we can also do this in a different manner, we will be having hydraulic fill dam. The only difference is that here also we will be taking the materials, wherever we are having materials we will be transporting it here and we will be dumping it. Instead of mechanical compaction we will be going for some hydraulic compaction. So there we will be using some weight and we will be just giving a compaction, here it is not like hydraulic, we will be pressing it using some hydraulic machine. So hydraulic compaction is being given here, here the difference is we will be giving mechanical compaction. After completing the first layer, we will be uh, putting further more materials, again we get it, getting into the next component or next uh, other materials, again giving hydraulic compaction. And again, after giving the hydraulic compaction in the second layer, the third layer is being there that will also be compacted using hydraulic machines. And this kind of compaction or this type of dam in which we are using hydraulic compaction is called as hydraulic fill dam. Now coming to rolled fill dam, this can be again classified as homogeneous, homogeneous embankment. type earthen dam then you have zoned embankment type earthen dam and the last one is diaphragm embankment type earthen dam so the rolled fill dam can again be classified as three homogeneous embankment type, sound embankment type and diaphragm embankment type. So that's the different types. So we'll be explaining this one by one. The first type of rolled fill dam is the homogeneous embankment type dam. So you have just one material. Homogeneous if the name suggests will be having a homogeneous material. If your homogeneous type will comprise this only one kind of earthen material, only one kind of material. If you're using stone, we are entirely using stone. If you are using some other material, we are using only one type of material. There is not a co there is no combination of materials. Only one kind of material is being used. So this where water is, is stored is the upstream. So as you know, it's not at all uh, rigid thing. So water will be 
seeping down. This is the seepage line like this and water will be going like this. And this line is called as the phreatic line. Above the phreatic line there is no seepage. See here, at this water surface the pressure acting there will be atmospheric pressure. Along this phreatic line also the pressure acting will be phreatic in atmospheric pressure. Along this phreatic line the pressure acting will be atmospheric just like the way here it is because it is exposed to atmosphere and that's the way and a modified type of embankment type homogeneous type is there you have the embankment like this water is stored and in order to have a better seepage of water you will be providing filter horizontal filter which is called as the horizontal filter what happens here is water is going through also what happens is whenever the water is going through the soil it's making it weak so what happens if, if somehow if some water is getting into it our prime aim should should be so that the entire water is being sucked out of the body for, for that we'll be using this horizontal filter so what happens here is the water here will be getting into here and this much portion will be taking up water so this much portion is free of any seepage so here it's the free of so here what happens this much portion is having seepage only this much portion is free from seepage but because of this horizontal filter what happens is the majority of the portion is free of the seepage so that's the purpose of providing horizontal filter and that's how it works so this is a type of homogeneous and this is the modified homogeneous right homogeneous entanglement the next type of dam as you see is the sound entanglement type earth dam so it's the sound so as the name says it is having different zones so what it has is the interior portion, the interior portion will be a impervious coat. This impervious coat. It will be made up of material which does not permit the water to go through it. And over that they will be constructing a pervious layer. This is the pervious layer which is having. So this is how sound the type of earth and dam is there and water will be there and it will be stored here and we have interior coat that's quite uh, impervious and the outside it will be a pervious shell so whatever material we are using in the shell it will be pervious it will be allowing water to go through it and see here what happens is there will be some wave action so in order to protect this wave they will be providing some slow protection so they will be providing slow protection on the upstream so this is the slope protection that we are providing on the upstream side. So this is a pervious shell that we have and in order to allow the seepage we will be providing the transitional filter here. We have a transitional filter as you can see here. We have a transition filter. And in order to protect the downstream side, we'll be providing a rock to having a rock to The purpose of this transition filter is to act as a drain and the rock to will be having large rocky material so it will be having more number of spaces so that water quickly goes out of it so that's the purpose so it's a drainage that we are providing in the downstream side with the rock toe and this transitional filter so that's how a sound embankment type earth dam looks like this is how a diaphragm embankment type looks like it's a modification of the earlier discussed sound embankment type we have an impervious core so we what we do is we make it this very small or rather the thickness is less and this thing is called as or this portion is called as the diaphragm and that will be replacing the core this is quite impervious and you have a pervious portion here this whole basement will be made impervious and above that impervious layer we have a pervious foundation it will be making the foundation quite pervious and there will be a diaphragm in between so this is a modification 
and you have a very thin diaphragm in there. So how the distinction between a diaphragm type and sound must be clearly known because here you have very width is very large but here it is very thin actually. So these are the different types of earth dams that we have homogeneous embankment type, zoned embankment type and diaphragm embankment type. So these, uh, I'll be sending the material and you can refer to the material for more details.